internet it's all good sam here i don't do this very often get in front of the camera and like expose myself um i don't you know i don't like having to groom and make myself presentable i prefer to be a hands model and uh, just have my delicate hands in the picture or just voiceover or you know i prefer to be behind the camera i, I take pictures i like to be behind the camera uh, to make the videos, I like to be behind the camera. I, I don't like being on the camera. But here I am. Why? Well, because it's it's a new year, and uh, there's some things that I felt like I should highlight. Uh, it's not like an epic number, but the channel now has uh, something like 7,700 subscribers, which is more than I expected. I know there's a lot of bigger channels out there, but that's a lot better than I thought this would do and I want to give it a little boost and say thank you and share and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, also point out that uh, I have a patreon and that has been doing pretty well again not epic but it's grown to a nice number where it's actually really helping out with uh, my basic finances and that's kind of the goal um, I'm a little past the halfway point to my first uh, stated goal which is to pay the rent and I have a really cheap rent I'm kind of lucky that way I'm paying a lot less than many people are these days for a major city even by Montreal standards so it doesn't take a lot I'm, I'm aiming for $400 a month on patreon and that will pretty much cover my rent to that end there's a basic subscriber level of on patreon for a buck or two but um, I also do things like take on students on patreon and you can get yearly commissions or be an extra in my comics um, so check that out, patreon.com slash salgood. And then uh, I wanted to point out my Instagrams and my social media, uh, the evil Facebook. Uh, yeah, I don't particularly like what they've been doing lately either, but still useful, and I continue to plan to continue to utilize them and not give them a cent. So I may be their product, but in turn, I'm using them to uh, platform my products. Um, so if you want to follow me on my Facebook page, I will include the link in the doobly doo down -doo below. There's uh, the Twitters and, oh yeah, uh, YouTube. I'm also on several other secondary platforms. I've tried out a few things like MeWe and stuff like that. Don't use them particularly heavily. I haven't found they've taken off. But you will find me if you go looking. I have a Reddit connected to my Patreon. So if you want to check that out, you, it'd be cool to hear from you, uh, post some of your work for feedback, things like that. Uh, and uh, I'll again, we'll include the link in the doobly doo because I haven't memorized the URL for that yet. I also have a, a Discord uh, server. It really reminds me of the old uh, bulletin board days with dial up. Uh, kind of cool. So, um, yeah, uh, if there is things you'd like me to do videos about, I would invite you in the comments to leave suggestions. Um, I have a few planned. I'm going to do some stuff on shading forms uh, to follow up the basic shading video I just did recently. And uh, some more drawing tutorials. Um, and uh, I have other notions about fooling around with other things uh, and using the, the channel to share that. Uh, but that's still not fully formed yet, so I'm not going to talk about too much more than that other than that. I have diverse interests in photography and cinematography and, and film and a uh, little dabbling here and there in animation over the years. I grew up around an animation studio, Novana Studios in Toronto. As a little kid, I got to run around there and I did test animations on the video test bed back when they were still working on rock and roll and then later on the TV series that they produced. My mother was a, a storyboard artist and then a director. She directed the first Care Bears movie um, and uh, recently did an, another short film for Novana actually. Um, I'm not sure I can call attention to that, but... Uh, if I can, I will include, again, information in the description text. Uh, all to say, I got a lot of exposure to it. I'm not especially enamored with an animation process. It's very tedious. I like making comics because they're kind of a happy medium between uh, somewhat tedious <laughs> and uh, also getting to control everything yourself, which you don't really usually get to do in animation. But I've been thinking about doing small shorts, um, just goofing around. So we'll see where that goes. I'm not sure it's going to be anything ready for prime time. Um, anyway, all to say, there will be more coming soon on the channel. I want to try to be somewhat regular. I'm not going to promise anything because this is sort of a secondary thing to other things I'm doing. Uh, one thing I sh should point out before I go, I have finished all the primary work on Dracula, Son of the Dragon with Mark Sable. <laughs> um, for people who backed that way too long ago on Kickstarter, I know. 
taking way too long. Tell me about it. I will do a video about that someday. Your books will be coming. I'm currently in the process of laying it out and I've been pricing out the different platforms uh, for print on demand. Thinking because th these backer books aren't really supposed to go to commercial market. Uh, I've steered away from using Kindle Direct, which used, I, I was going to use Create Space when we first planned it. Uh, create space that was Amazon's print on demand service, but then they also created the parallel Kindle Direct, which is a print on demand service going along with Kindle, and then they've now merged them. And Kindle Direct kind of came out on top, they got rid of pretty much everything about Create Space. I was a little apprehensive with that at first, and I still am on some, several levels. But I was surprised, I recently went through the process of trying to price out everything, including shipping. And it looks like maybe, at least for what we were going to do, Kindle Direct would actually be cheaper which I was quite surprised to figure out. Um, but there's still the problem that it's kind of obligatory to list the book on Amazon, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, my initial pricing efforts had to be a little bit fudge, because, for example, Lulu seems to have won the pricing uh, competition of the different platforms I looked at, except that I kind of had to fudge it, because it will not give you uh, a calculator that tells you what shipping will cost along with the printing of a book. So like I wanted to be able to print a book and send it to a backer directly. And I wanted a calculator that does all of that. CreateSpace used to offer it. It doesn't seem like it should be that hard. Um, uh, but they don't have it offered on their site. They really should. Um, most of the sites do offer something along those lines. Um, and uh, I would, had to go onto the site and find a book of roughly the same size. I, I fudged on the bigger size. So something was 140 pages instead of 100 pages and entered different regions and priced out what it would cost to send it to those places and use that information uh, to estimate along with the cost per unit to me as a creator uh, to come up with a number and it looks like Lulu might actually be the best deal and I've seen books that friends have made through Lulu and they look really good so I think we might go with that because we can also make the books um, I believe unlisted or at least not publicly available um, so that's useful. Um, I've also been looking at Ingram Spark, and I, I'm very interested in them, especially because reputedly they're much better for selling to retailers. They get better wholesale rates, and they generally have a better connection to Ingram's distribution. And uh, the only catch is that they have a setup fee that's not huge, but enough. And then they have handling fees, uh, which when you're doing single units to send out to backers, ends up adding up. So they ended up being a bit more expensive. But I'm looking at them for actual retail distribution. So I may be using them as well. Um, so just to survey quick the leading print-on-demand services that I'm aware of, Kindle Direct, Lulu's, and Ingram Spark. And I think they all are quite good. Um, and for different situations, they all have their advantages. But for Kickstarter rewards, with I think for Dracula, we're leaning heavily towards a Lulu at this time. And um, that's for the tray paperback editions. We're gonna do something a little different for the special editions. Um, the, all of this is stuff that's not gonna be available to the public, but the last installment of Dracula will be in Revolver 5, which is very close to being finished. And that's probably gonna be my next publicly published book. Uh, and then Mark and I have been mulling over what to do with Dracula once we've fulfilled the Kickstarter backers. Something. Um, Honestly, I'd like to find a publisher to take care of it because I don't want to self-publish that, especially. Uh, I think a publisher already involved with the direct market would have a, a much would be much better for getting it out there and getting it to retailers. Um, but uh, I have to package the thing and get it all ready, and then I'm going to leave that in Mark's capable hands to find someone to uh, uh, usher it into the public uh, market. But keep an eye out for it, and if you're a pledge if you pledge to my patreon you'll actually get to read dracula son of the dragon as well as dream life and uh the four existing editions of revolver and revolver 5 when it comes out a two dollar subscription to patreon makes you a subscriber to all my independent comics um so you'll get digital downloads of all of them and you know little secret not so secret if you stick around long enough to cure a hundred dollars of pledges i start sending you physical books too um, so check it out, patreon.com slash salgood. Uh, again, like, subscribe, was it like bash the thing, bash the button? That's a weird way of talking about it. It's very violent. Um, and, you know, share with your friends and, uh, let them know that, uh, I exist because an audience is my bread and butter. Uh, again, happy new year. 
may this year be full of promise and good things for you and uh, hopefully the world uh, enjoys a good new year uh, let's hope for some peaceful happy resolutions to things here in canada things are recently a little bit messy but uh, i know they're worse elsewhere so i consider myself lucky um i will see you around soon internet stay tuned cheerio